Good evening, everyone. I just had a spare of the moment thought process that I wanted to jump on and share with you all. Happy Easter. First of all, it is Easter Sunday, the day celebrating the resurrection, the day that we are reminded what we are capable of. Um, it is a very powerful day if you wish it to be. So I wanted to come on here. I was doing my post-work zombie scroll through Instagram, Facebook, just checking what was happening out there in the world. And I came across lots of posts about women saying how they cleanse their crystal wands, their rose quartz, yoni eggs, what they do, what rituals they have, how they cleanse their crystals before they use them or after they use them. So I wanted to come on and share how I cleanse mine. And those of you who know me and have worked with me and done my courses and programs will see this heading and go, it's a little unusual. What's she talking about? <laughs> and you will find out why. So I have um, a incredible rose quartz yoni wand, which I love to use and love and care for and cherish very much. And this video is about how and why I use it and how I cleanse it, which is what I said in the top in the heading. So basically how I cleanse my Yoni wand, and I also have some eggs, I don't have them with me so I can't show you, but I do have some. I don't. Basically, I don't cleanse them. And this is why. Crystals and any um, items, what else do people use? But people, things that people, that have become very stereotypical within the spirituality of the modern day, the new age superstitions and trinkets, if you like. And crystals is very much a big one of those. Don't get me wrong. I love crystals. I have fucking shitloads of them. <laughs> and I, they bring me lots of joy and I love wearing them as jewelry. I have them in my home. I have them everywhere. I do not cleanse them. And this is why. They have the power that I believe they do. A crystal as an individual item has no power on its own without you. Without you believing what that crystal has and does and is, it's got nothing. And that is why I do not cleanse my crystal yoni wand because this only carries negative energy if I believe it does. This only absorbs negativity, trauma, whatever from me when I'm using it, if I believe it does. This is a piece of incredibly beautiful rock from Gaia, from Mother Earth, the beautiful Gaia, whom I have a very deep connection with. And that's why I love to use this. But I don't feel that she needs to be cleansed of any impurities, any negativities, any stuff that she is absorbing from me because I just don't believe that's what she does. I don't believe that's how she works. Any crystal, any crystal that I have in the corner of my room or beside my bed or wherever it may be. Years ago, I used to, absolutely, I would soak them under the full moon. I would run them under salt water, running water. I would put them in the full sun. Sometimes if I still feel like doing that because it brings me joy, I do. Because what that does is brings me joy. Putting my yoni out under the full moon, well, my yoni, my yoni loves that too, actually, but my yoni wand or my yoni eggs out under the full moon isn't going to change shit. It's not. It really is not. If you think that you can heal yourself, if you think you can get over whatever subconscious fears you have, whatever negative deep self-beliefs you have about yourself, by putting a piece of incredibly beautiful rock made by Gaia out into the moon to cleanse for a night, I'm sorry, but that is not going to change or heal anything from you because that is external to you. And you are placing your thoughts, beliefs, feelings to something external. 
and that is not going to get the job done. That is why it doesn't matter how many crystals you have in your house, how many Reiki sessions you go to, how many yoni massages you go to, you are the only person or thing that can heal yourself. When we continuously seek things outside of ourselves, we are always going to be seeking. It isn't until you come back to here and get real with yourself about what it is you are holding on to, what it is you are actually afraid of, then you can start the journey to actually fucking make a permanent difference in your life, to actually start overcoming the fears, the negative belief patterns that you have fucking laid down deep many, many, many years ago, sometimes lifetimes ago, sometimes it's not even yours, it was a fucking generations ago. And you are carrying it because of cellular memory, because of how DNA works. So I am sorry if this upsets, offends, or rocks your boat. But the truth is, Sticking this out in the full moon is not going to give me a better orgasm. It's not going to absorb my period pain. It's not going to find the man of my dreams and give me a happily ever after. Because I don't believe that it will. If you believe that putting your crystal wand, your yoni egg, whatever it may be, out to be cleansed in the sun, the moon, the river, whatever it may be, if you believe wholeheartedly without a fucking ounce of doubt on any level, energetic, physical, subconscious, conscious, any level, then yes, that will be your reality. Absolutely. But you show me a person in this 3D world that believes that completely, wholeheartedly, without one ounce of doubt, that that will heal that thing for them, that cleansing that incredible gift from Gaia will heal them. I would love to fucking think so, but I don't believe that it will heal me. I don't believe that it will make my journey any easier, rougher, harder if I do or don't cleanse my beautiful crystals and gifts from Gaia. So the reason I even use a crystal one, if I don't believe in cleansing them, their, their magical, mystical powers, the power of a rose quartz is about self-love and, and how it brings and attracts more love into your life and how black obsidian can clear dark energies. And I'm not making fun of those things because as I just said, if you really fucking wholeheartedly believe that, it will do it for you. The reason I use a crystal wand as opposed to a silicon or plastic dildo is because this is from Gaia. This is not man-made. This is earth-made. And the earth is a being of its own. The earth, Gaia, is the greatest form of divine feminine that we have been gifted in this 3D world. Sometimes we see it, sometimes we don't. But these little gifts are what she gives us, and it is perfect just the way it is. I don't feel it needs to be altered, cleansed, changed. I take it out of its pouch. I cover it in coconut oil. I pleasure myself. I wash it and I put it back in the pouch. That is how I cleanse my only wand and eggs. I hope this has been thought provoking for you. And if you want to challenge me, please do feel free. I would love to open a conversation about this, about what you do for your crystals or trinkets or whatever it is that you use external to yourself to help your journey, to help heal yourself, to help carry yourself through this 3D existence. I would love to know, and I would love to know what, 
power they have given you or what power they show to you. Mwah. So much love to you all on this beautiful Easter Sunday. Enjoy. Go and get a crystal wand. Go and get something delicious and pleasure yourself on this Easter because why the fuck not, really? Good night.